These four simple yet powerful Etsy tools turn my store from a negative $19 to a profit. Whether you're a beginner starting your Etsy journey or a veteran, these tools will take your Etsy game to the next level. I'll go over the pros and cons of each tool and how to use them effectively to research and improve your Etsy listings. Let's dive right in. If you're a newcomer to the Etsy business like me, I'm sure you're probably wondering where the heck you began your business in in this competitive market. How do you find a product and analyze the competition to land your first sale? Well, I'm no expert in Etsy yet, but I can tell you that I've utilized these four tools in my Etsy store to get me sale every month. The first tool that we have is ChatGPT. This powerful free chat-based tool is what I use day-to-day -to, -day to create my entire listing from generating ideas to writing SEO optimized titles and descriptions. I use this tool in my other business, but it's just so damn good for creating Etsy listings and saves me a ton of time. At the time of making this video, Independence Day is right around the corner. So I would like to come up with some ideas for a digital pattern design for that specific day's theme. I can head to ChatGPT, then ask to give me top selling digital pattern ideas for Independence Day. It gives me 10 specific ideas that I can utilize, but to put them in mid journey where we can turn these ideas to actual product we need to be more specific and turn it into a prompt now i told ChatGPT to describe each pattern in detail using watercolor art style and a specific color palette you can see how quickly we can generate ideas and image prompts in seconds using the power of ai the first prompt that ChatGPT gave looks something like this i think the design is very original and has a nice creative touch to it. The next thing we can do is develop SEO optimized titles and descriptions. I reviewed these in my other Etsy series video which you can check out in detail but essentially with a simple line of command we can make an SEO optimized title and descriptions that we can use for any Etsy product listing. I've done these with over 40 listings so far and once you have a template of command it's just rinse and repeat every time you produce a listing. Next up, we have Midjourney, which is a game-changing text-based image generator using AI. There are many similar tools out there, but nothing comes close to the ease of use and the amount of details that this thing can produce. Unless you're planning on selling a physical product, this is one heck of a tool to create stunning art graphic and design. There are various ways to utilize Midjourney for Etsy shops, such as using it for print-on-demand designs, creating clip arts and stickers, patterns, and much more. The image I showed earlier with the ChatGPT generator prompt was created with Midjourney. However, the only drawback I encountered using the tool was creating a specific detailed pattern. For example, if I type American flag in mid journey and try to create a seamless pattern it can produce the exact image of the flag it knows the general design of it but it can't really seem to create the accurate image design and this often becomes a problem where i try to copy an existing design that's already selling well and it just gives me some bizarre design another con to mid journey is that it's not a free tool i'm currently paying 60 dollars a month for my etsy store and although i still haven't made back the money through my store or I'll just have to be patient. Moving on, the next tool is Sales Samurai. And this smart tool will help you find the best product niche possible for the highest chance of success. There are a lot of ways to use this tool and my favorite ways to use it is for analyzing keywords and the number of competition. For example, say we're trying to sell custom mugs. I want to find out what type of custom mugs to sell. After we install the Sales Samurai Chrome extension, we can head back to Etsy website. Then if we search mugs, the extension will give us the amount of search volume per month that this keyword gets and if you click on the 500 more on the side it will show us all the variations of the keyword search volume and the competition number pretty much the supply and demand of the keyword what we want to find is a keyword that is ranking with the high search volume and a low competition so if we sift through you can see that these search terms have a ton of competition and a low search volume we can scroll further down and the spreadsheet mug has around 1,000 searches and 2,500 competition. That's not bad. I will mark these with the checkbox here and download them as a list to reference later. If we quickly take a look at the example that we found, the spreadsheet mug is heavily niched down to people who like to use and have a passion for using Excel spreadsheets. Another thing that I'll then do 
is find something similar around the keyword. For example, we can try Notion mugs since many people like to use Notion and they may want to buy something that's related to that. You have to play around with it and make sure to keep a note of all the low competition and high search volume keywords. This is exactly how I found my winning listings and have been generating sales ever since I created the listing. Sales Samurai comes with the subscription but they do offer a free version to try it out. Make sure to use the code in the description to get a discount. Now I want to show you one more tool which is Everbee. This is very similar to Sales Samurai but it has a nice function of analyzing the keywords and listings. What I really like about it is that it works directly on the Etsy website so you don't have to go to their website for the research. Let's use the same spreadsheet mug earlier. If we search for the keyword it will show the monthly search volume similar to Sales Samurai. The reason the numbers are different is because how they gather and calculate these estimates. And because Etsy does not share any of these data with third-party companies, they will calculate using their own AI system to give an estimate of the numbers. With that said, that's one of the con of these tools. It would never be 100% accurate, but I like that we can sort of have an estimated understanding of the niche search volume and the competition because there's no way for us to gather all this data manually. After we search for the keyword, we have this toolbox on the side that allows us to do a couple of things. First is product analytics. This will dissect the first page of the search page and give you all these valuable information about the product and the shop. I like to use this page to sort by the total sales. It will provide us with the estimated monthly revenue that the product brings in and also how many sales this product gets. My method is to find the winning keywords using Sales Samurai with high search volume and low competition. Then find the specific product that's doing well in that niche using Everbee and create your product around it and improve it. Do not just copy it because you essentially provide no additional value and will most likely not outperform the already winning products. This tool even shows you all the tags that you can use and try to rank your listings. The other favorite part about Everbee is the keyword search feature. This is similar to Sales Samurai but the numbers are different due to how they calculate differently. Lastly, they have this cool feature called Trademark Monitor. Trademark Monitor helps to avoid potential trademark infringement issues by scanning your entire Etsy store and your listings, checking for any trademark words or phrase infringements. I haven't quite found out if these are accurate because a couple of the keywords in my listing says they are trademark, but these are very simple keywords that EV listings use. If you want to try out the tool, feel free to use the link in the description since I do receive a small commission if you do sign up, but in no way am I being sponsored by them, but I just enjoy using the tools. At the end of the day, do you need all these tools to be successful? I don't think so. I think it's completely possible to be successful without them if you provide quality products because ultimately it comes down to the product or service for any type of business. If you want to start your own Etsy shop selling digital products like me, then check out my other video where I go over all the steps to creating my store and sharing my results. Also, feel free to subscribe if you want to follow my journey of documenting everything I do in my business to become a millionaire. Thanks for watching. Peace.